Um, I was having this conversation the other day and somebody was like, I felt like I couldn't put my name on a business I want to build because people would think it was me being arrogant. Really? What is that? Yeah, it's it's like my name like don't carry can't. weight. Like I can't I can't put my name on my business. Yeah, it's yours. Because it could be appeared, it could seem arrogant, and it was just like, what is that? Is that because I don't have a sense of self? That you know what I mean? Am I? I think it's, it's, it, it could be self worth, or it could be. Um, mm. I think it's self worth. That's more a than big anything. piece of the identity thing too. Is self worth, self lack of confidence, like. Do you, have you ever felt like you may be running out of time to kind of figure your your not your life out but you out like because we are getting older you know our generation we're getting older sometimes it may feel like okay this benchmark hasn't been done this benchmark has been done am I running out of time to hit some of these benchmarks where it makes sense for my life you know because what we've been taught Home ownership, all these, you know, having kids at a certain age. A lot of people, from from what I've read um, and research and stuff like that, like a lot of people in our in our generation feel like they ain't even adults. Mm-hmm. Like they feel like I'm not even a full adult yet because of these these benchmarks that were taught to us that mm-hmm. really don't apply uh, within for the lifestyle or the you know the kind of lifestyle we're we're going to be leading into mm-hmm. because the world is forever changing so the same life that that our parents lived we or the same experiences that our parents had we're not even going to have the same experience or the same um opportunity you know what i'm saying and s- some people are sitting home, sitting at home like man i don't even feel like a full adult i don't even feel like I, I, I'm doing anything that I'm supposed to be doing at the age of 33 or the age of 35 or the age of 30. And what is it that you're supposed to be doing? That's the thing. What is it exactly that you're supposed to be doing? And I don't think there there's a right or wrong. I don't think there's a specific time frame that you should you should be doing something as long as you're 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 working towards getting some of the goals accomplished. I think a lot of us know what we want. We just don't know who we are Ooh. or who we need to be to do it. You know, I I know exactly what I want my life to look like. Who am I supposed to be to be that to to get that? You know what I'm saying? Wow, that's that's really what it is. It's like there's man, no problem writing down a goal, write down um, something I want to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Now, who do I got to become to accomplish that? How do I become that person? Yeah, I, and I think that's where that's where <laughs> things kind of get effed up. It's like where you're like, yo, who am I? Or you get caught up into starting something and you're doing something. Like, I feel like even in, like, business for me, I got started in my career in network marketing um, at 24. Mm-hmm. So now turning 30, like, you, like I've been doing just the same thing, the same thing. I've been in the, engrossed in this thing to now where you feel like you step out of it. You feel like an outsider. You feel like an, a, yeah. you, could, you could feel like an outcast. And I think that's where, that's where the identity shift started to happen for me is like, okay, well, well let's say this never even – comes across my desk let's say i never meet these these individuals let's say i never join this company yeah what would i do and then the problem became i'm only basing my identity off of a new do you know what i'm saying Mm. i'm basing my identity off of what else would i have been doing not who would i be does that make sense yeah like all right, cool. Well, what if I was doing hair? Well, now is my identity. My identity would have been, oh, I'm, I'm the hair, hair Brittany. You know what I'm saying? Like when we talk now, I'm like, yo, I'm not about to be like, I'm not about to be the for- like, I'm not forex Brittany. I'm not the crypto chick. Like, yo, yeah. it's just Brittany. And realizing, and I, it's crazy because um, I feel like I've been posting this for years of that I was just in a state of becoming. And it's also accepting that you will shift your identity over time yeah. it's not a bad thing not a bad you know what thing. I mean? but it's also being reckon i mean recognizing that thing like things are going to change and so how do i adjust with that am i going from like you said um career to career or thing to thing just to find a sense of purpose versus finding the purpose in order to find the right thing if you like this episode don't forget to like share and subscribe and we'll see you in the next episode <laughs>